Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the dog days of summer. Everybody meet Blake. Today is all for Paul's Sunday. August 22nd, 2021. And it's time for your Polly's Island Sunrise and Surf Report with Lisa Clayton, Dave Clayton, and Chell Bell. Chell Bell's back there, and today's special guest is Blake. So we're gonna turn this phone around so you can take a look at him. At the same time, we're gonna give you all of your surf and sunrise reports what's going on what time sunrise is and all that and give you all the information about blake we can blake is available for adoption at all for paul's animal rescue and he is a nine-year-old hound lab mix so this is gonna be a lot of fun and then at the end of the episode we always share what what do we share the good news. That's right. We have good news for you. So here we go. Good boy. Blake is excited to get to the beach. He has a little shark's tooth on his back. Take a look. Pretty boy. He's got a little shark's tooth right there. You're pushing that one. Okay. Allison told me. She said it's a shark's tooth, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It is. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Right. He's nine years old. He's got really cool markings. Hopefully he has some mosquito repellent. Yes, I will just jump straight to the noceum index and tell you that there's very little wind out here today and the noceums and mosquitoes a rampant. <laughs> but that's okay. High tide today is at 815. Good boy. So the tide is coming in. It is coming in. He's smelling birds out there this morning. We got a eight fifteen? Yeah, eight fifteen. Low tides right after two o'clock. Two nineteen. That's right. Temperature right now is 75 degrees. For high days, only about five degrees higher. Mm hmm. UV is a six. <laughs> so, where are we expecting some drizzles today? Little drizzles this afternoon. Henry's pushing on up further north. But yesterday sure was a good surf day. Blake's excited to be at the beach, y'all. 
Debbie Cooper, good morning to you. So he doesn't pull too much. He's kind of interested in the little crabs. Good Sunday morning to you there, Mary Jane. It is beautiful. Let's see if Blake likes the water. <laughs> Blake is a very cute pup. Well, we're we're kind of we're doing a live, we're doing a live right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. You want to meet Blake? This is Blake. Yes, he's looking for he's looking for a forever home. He yeah he's at All for Paws Animal Rescue, and he, yeah. I'm gonna let go of this. He's super friendly. Yes, he is. He's nine years old, <laughs> and he's a hound mixed with a Labrador. He's Isn't he great? He knows it. Yeah, he yes. does. <laughs> he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Good boy. He's well behaved, isn't he? He certainly is. Not jumping. No. So smooth and clean. Well, thank you for offering. Would you? What would you say this is right here? Uh, I would call that a, sh a shark tooth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Very> good. Nice. <laughs> that's what I've been hunting this morning. <laughs> oh, have you? Have you had any luck? No luck today. Oh, that's all right. Sweet dog. I think he has to be like five or under. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're, we're at certain beaches. We don't get too many up here, unfortunately. Sure. Every time I come visit here, it's a different look to the beach here. It's ever-changing. It does yeah. change. Yeah, it's beautiful, though. Where are you from? I live in Charleston. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks so much. You're very welcome. What's Thank your you. name? What are you doing? I'm Robert. Robert. Mm -hmm. We do this every Saturday or Sunday. Okay. And we just get a dog from All for Paws, and we go live on um, Polly's Island Peeps. That's fantastic. Yeah. We used to live here a long time ago, and at that point, I was uh, volunteering down at um, St. Francis. Before sure. Paws yeah. Was started. So. That's great. Yeah. Well, we do well thanks for being a part of it. Well, that's yeah. Wonderful. You know, we've got a great place for it. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to catch a nice one, but it doesn't look like uh, the clouds are going to cooperate. So, we well, all have a fantastic day. Thanks all right. For Thank you. So what else do we need to tell them about the sunrise and surf? We told them what time everything is and the 
the tide times waves. Okay. Some lightning offshore there. We're at the north end today. Somebody had to take care of business, but his little tail's been so small. He has a little curl. He does have a curly tail. His All right, so it's time for some good news, I guess. Let's see. All right, today's good news. It comes from Proverbs 3, 21 to 22. My son, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight, for they they will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Sound dud judgment and, and discernment. Good morning, Rob. This is Blake Sheldon. I'm sorry. No, this is Blake. <laughs> So what is discernment? Chelsea, you know what discernment is? <laughs> you don't know what discernment is? What discernment? Discernment. No? So that's when you have a circumstance in your life and you look at it from God's point of view. That's what discernment is. You discern something. You can look at it from God's point of view. Hey, Jill. What's up? Oh, 
shark bite out of it. That's, that's funny. That's Blake. Malik? Blake. Oh, Blake. I was like Malik? No, uh, Blake. Hi, Blake. Hi, Blake. <laughs> oh, you got it. So today's good news, Jill, yeah. talks about discernment and sound judgment. Proverbs are good. So I believe this is King Solomon talking to his son, giving advice to his son, maybe. And so what do you, what do you have to say about sound judgment and discernment? Discernment is extremely important, obviously. Um, like, I actually <laughs> have a situation from last night, my friend. I have two, two people telling me two different things. And, um, you know, I just, I have to, first of all, keep my mouth shut because I don't want to offend somebody who is really fragile in their faith. Um, so I need to use discernment, you know, with her. Um, you know, knowing that maybe she's not telling me the truth, but I also don't want to push her further away from God. Um, <clears throat> so, so what is discernment exactly? To me, discernment is just knowing what God is, you know, what, what the right thing to do is. What, you know, what, what the godly thing to do is for me. That's, In a circumstance? Yeah. Okay. Taking in all the things you know about the situation. And maybe listening before talking, yeah. you know. <laughs> Sound judgment. What's the difference between that and discernment? Um, hmm. Don't know. Like maybe like knowing what is true, speaking in love, mm -hmm. um, speaking in the truth, knowing the difference between the world's love and God's love. <clears throat> Excuse me. So speaking the truth in love. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just stepped on her foot. <laughs> um, like I actually been I've been thinking about this a lot lately because you know speaking God's truth doesn't necessarily mean that people are gonna like what you're saying, um, even though it's truth. But we have to do it in love. So I'm totally getting away from what you're asking me. But no, that's all right. So sound judgment to me is judging, right? judgment comes from judgment well sound judgment would be like a judge that knows what's righteous right knows what's right you have sound judgment that means your ruling is correct right, right? you're so this is a father telling his son in this case this is King Solomon saying preserve sound judgment in other words don't be judging people incorrectly or situations incorrectly, you need to- Have all the facts. Yes, be wise in your judgment. And then discernment, I think, is a step further. And that's where you're actually able to use God, the spirit of God, or the, you know, God to help you in your decision-making so that you would actually respond the way God would respond. Mm -hmm. Discerning, I think. That's me, mm -hmm. that's what I'm seeing there. And that's really important for a son or a daughter, all of us, to have this. And so much so that we should have an ornament around our neck mm -hmm. in grace. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, uh, it, it should be like that. Right. It should be something we carry, carry with us. With, yeah. yeah. So there you go. There's your good news. Anybody out there have anything else they want to add? Do it. Just put it in the comments. That would be awesome. No CMs are annoying this morning. They are. <laughs> they are a six or a seven. <laughs> Have you gotten to know Holly at all? Uh, just on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, we've talked a lot, but not a lot, but. She has uh, outstanding remedies.
for <laughs> these no see <laughs> let me tell you. I've been using peppermint oil and tea tree oil, and they definitely keep the mosquitoes away, but they don't seem to keep the no see away, so. So the no see that she uh, is is actually not her, she actually, I, I compare no see the bugs that you there. can't see, actually to things that we do ourselves or things that happen around us that we are not aware of fully because we're just one person, mm -hmm. right? And so Holly has this business, she's a coach. Mm -hmm. And so she's my coach. And so she's able to see things, discern things. Mm -hmm. She's able to help me with sound judgment. So that's why I bring up the noceums and I bring up Holly because I think a coach is, va is invaluable. It's, it's, it's a lot of times in life, um, we can't do it ourselves and we need someone that like Holly with called Holly uh, called higher for Holly with coach Holly Cervini we need someone like that so like a disciple yeah she's a discerning disciple. she's discerning she she helps you um, with these no see in life mm -hmm. so it's not a, a true no she doesn't have a concoction <laughs> right but she has uh, these this is I think very important to, to mention her because that's exactly what today's good news is about. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah. Mm. And we are grateful for her, aren't we, Lise? Mm -hmm. We are. Mm. Isn't it crazy how even though we can't see the sun, it's still just as beautiful? Oh, it's back there. Oh, it is. But it creates these amazing, like, reflections on the clouds. And that's like, okay. So there's a reference, right? Like, we can't see Jesus here on earth, but we are his reflection to other people. So like the clouds, God's light shines on them with the sun, right? God's light shines on us with the sun, Jesus. So we are his light to the world. There you go. Blake is a happy dog, Rob. He is not a water dog. <laughs> people are so friendly today. Yeah. We f we keep having people asking if they w if we need them to take pictures. Oh. All right. There you go, Blake.
<laughs> All right, y'all. It's time to sign out. All right. Come on over. Come here, Blake. Come up here, Blake. <laughs> Come here, Blake. Come here. All right, we're going to turn this phone around, Chelsea. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed Blake as much as we did today. God bless you. God keep you. Today, yes, today and every day. And love like Jesus. Yes, and it might be that part of that is to find a forever home for Blake. Yeah. It How just might be. He's nine. Nine? Yeah, he's nine years old. His little shark tooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, we love you. We appreciate you. We're signing out, Jill. All right, we'll see you later. Ciao, Bella. We love you guys. See you later. <laughs>